In this exercise, we're going to put text on a path. This is a very common technique for applications that contain vectors, and Fireworks does work with vectors. So to get yourself started, open up the text04.png file located in your exercise folder. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the words Welcome to San Jose, and we're going to run them along this ridge line here, which is uh, the mountains just outside of San Jose. Now, first thing we got to do, of course, is create the path. And if you take a look at the uh, layers panel, you can see there's the text, there's the bitmap, but we don't have a path. So we'll just close the layers panel and let's create the path. And you, to do that, select the pen tool from the vector group. And then just starting on the ridge line, draw a very simple wavy little vector path with curves in it. It sort of just follows the uh, ridge line here. And when you finish, just uh, double click and you now have your path. Now to stick the text on the path, it's really quite simple. What you do is you just select the text and with your shift key held down, click once on the path and then go to text, attach to path. And you'll notice that the text now goes on the path. Now the really cool thing about working with text on a path is that it's still fully editable. As you can see, I can change the font if I want. I can change it from Verdana, say, to Georgia, and that'll work. We'll put that back, and we'll make it bold. Other things that you can do is you can indent it. You can move it along the path by using the indent. And there are a couple of extra little tools here in the uh, text menu that you might want to check out. So text, orientation. You can uh, rotate the text around the path. Uh, you can take it vertically oriented. As you can see, it's sort of not much really happens there. If you uh, choose skew vertical, you'll notice that the E tends to follow the path there. So on the vertical axis, it will follow the path going down. So the two kind of looks like it's falling, and the M and the E kind of look like they're you know, moving out of the path. And if you go back and you choose orientation skew horizontal, it looks a whole lot different. So you can put some different looks in these things just depending on how you want the path and the text to look. So we'll put this back to skew vertical, which looks a, a lot better. Uh, another thing that you can do here is if uh, you select the text and we'll just move it along the path. You see that little box there? That's my text overflow. That means that I've got one of two choices here. The text is overflowing, and my first choice is just to make the path longer or just reduce the, um, the amount of the indent here so that it comes back. And if you want to uh, take the text off the path, you just select it, go to Text, Detach from Path, and you're back where you started. Of course, you're going to have to uh, pull out the text box and make it work a lot better, for instance, uh, with I'll take it down to 25%, and I'll just take the text box right there and spread it out and pull it back where it belongs. And we take it back up to 100%. So it's just a little bit of a hiccup that you get with this application. It's no big deal. You're just going to have to take a little extra time to put it back on the path. It's text attached to path. There we go, it's on the path, and away we go. So in this exercise, I've shown you a lot of uh, technique for working with paths. You start by drawing the path. It could be a circle, it could be a square, it can be any of the uh, vector shapes that you've got here. We used the pen tool to draw the path, and then all we did was uh, select the text and the path and attach it to the path. If we want to pull it off the path, you can select Detach from Path. And if you want to orient the text to the path, you've got four choices which I've shown you.